Mayor Gregor Robertson signed the proclamation for October being National Manners Month. And we'd like to congratulate your school for celebrating National Manners Month. We've invited our special guest to come up, Patty Bacchus. Mrs. Bacchus is going to read the pledge to us. And if you would all come up, our special guest, come on up for the pledge. And if you could pick up the banner again, please, that would be great. And the pledge is here, and go one more down, so it's easier to read. And thank you for coming, and guess, if you would come over and read it with us, and you can read it off the proclamation. And I'll hold the mic for you, okay, thanks, Ms. Well, thank you very much. Um, this proclamation reads, Office of the Mayor, City of Vancouver, British Columbia, Proclamation, National Manners Month. Whereas, good character and good manners are foundational to a civil society, and whereas, Canada was founded as a peaceable and free nation, and whereas, respect for others, their property, and for oneself are foundational virtues of a civil community, and whereas, this is how we write our rules of government, as a community, we commit to develop Vancouver as a model city of civility by striving to create a cultural climate of respect, accountability, fairness, honesty, empathy, courage, and integrity by living with, by the golden rule. Now, therefore, I, and I'm saying this on behalf of my friend Gregor Robertson, who's not here, Mayor of the City of Vancouver, do hereby proclaim the month of October 2009 as National Manners Month in the city of Vancouver. Let's give a hand for Vancouver! <laughs> so, if we're going to be ambassadors for 2010, we've got to get ready. We've got to learn how to be ambassadors. Today, we're gonna to learn three secrets of being an ambassador. Number one, point to your mind and say, respectful attitude. Point to your mouth and say respectful words. Show me your hands and say respectful actions. So together, attitude, words, and actions. Attitude, words, and actions. Attitude, words, and actions. One more time. Attitude, words, and actions. That's fantastic. Well, let's, um, let's see, could you hold this for me for a minute, please? Let's go to the next slide quickly and see what's coming up. Oh, you know, so what we're going to do is, who needs good manners anyway? Do you need good manners? Do your teachers need good manners? Yes. Do your brothers and sisters need good manners? Yes. Do you need good manners? Yes. 